And joining me tonight to debate the interim budget is uh, Dr. Sudhanshu Trivedi, Member of Parliament and uh, Senior National Spokesperson of the BJP, Dr. Anand Ranganathan, author and scientist. Also joining me this evening, Manoj Yadav, National Spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party. But my first question goes to Sanjay Jha, author and suspended Congress leader. And Sanjay Jha, you know, we've heard many criticisms by the opposition, and it's fair point. Uh, you know, for, for opposition to criticize the government. But today was a completely different criticism where D.K. Suresh, member of parliament of the Congress party, brother of the deputy chief minister of Karnataka, who says southern states contribute more taxes uh, and, and all, is, all of this is being diverted into the north and therefore we might have to think about making a separate country in the south. Now, uh, Sanjay Jha, uh, is this the Naya Bharat? Is this the Bharat Jodo Yatra that Rahul Gandhi is doing? And is this the only insight that the Congress has on the union budget? Uh, you know, earlier uh, when you were introducing the program, uh, you mentioned Mary Poppins. I can tell you that uh, when I see Mr. Modi's government, I'm actually reminded of the French Empress Marie Antoinette, who famously said, let them eat cake. You know, I mean, this is a government under whose watch we are seeing the highest level of income inequality. But the government obviously doesn't care. Poverty, you have 230 million people, according to the UNDP. Obviously, Niti Aagyog doesn't agree with that number. But, you know, even the numbers in this government are suspect. The demographic dividend, the young story Navika of India, that all of us believed was our biggest USP in the global sweepstakes has been destroyed if you look at the number of people who are jobless. I mean, what is this government really patting itself on the back for? This is almost a desivu like, you know, India shining part two, where the government in its own land of illusions is painting a story that does not exist. I mean, I, I have data to point out, Navika, that the rural wages, this is 83% of India that works in the farmlands, has seen no real increase in its income levels, net of inflation. And that's 83% of India. I mean, this government is obsessed with the avocado on toast, business class flying, BMW SUV driving category of people. Sanjay Jha, I've heard of many, many criticisms, but yeah. this is a government of avocado on toast uh, at a time when D.K. Suresh is actually saying we should have a separate country. You don't respond to that comment being made by a member of parliament when a Bharat Jodo Yatra is going. Dr. Sudhanshu Trivedi, avocado on toast government hai aapki? That's the charge by uh, Dr. Sanjay Jha. I am unable to understand Dr. Sanjay Jha is talking about which year. He said 83% of the people live in rural areas. You are talking about which decade, sir? As per the last census, it's around less than 70% who is 65, 66% living in rural areas. So I at present, it has to be less than 60%. You are talking about 83%. So I am unable to understand. And second thing I would like to say, sir, you have full right because you are having a myopic view of putting uh, uh, suspicion on the data of the government. But what about IMF? The Fitch has just increased the rating of India. IMF has increased the rating of India. Even IMF chief Christina Giorgio has said that India is going to contribute 15% in the global growth rate. It is going to be the brightest spot. The IMF in which Dr. Manmohan Singh has worked. But I think you seem to be more prudent as far as the economy is concerned, whether Dr. Manmohan Singh is there or IMF is there. So as far as the rural and basic people are concerned, I would like to say ki ye that if ki agar abhi uh, ek latest jo data aaya tha, usme hai ki 41 lakh logon ne sirf last year mein four wheeler liya hai. So they are the most affluent people. If 7.5 crore families are having an automobile, which is third biggest in the world, but the all 7.5 percent, uh, 7.5 crore are the affluent people. So the problem is you are not able to see what the ground reality is there, mm -hmm. how the things mm -hmm. have transformed at the ground level from Mudra Yojana to Jandhan Yojana to how the things have transformed. I just want to say one thing. Ye char crore makan to bane na garibon ke. Ye char crore affluent hain. Jo middle class ka makan hai less than one crore. 
उसका 24 परसेंट सेल बढ़ा है ये एफ्लुएंट क्लास है जो एवरेज मकान ले रहा है इसीलिए आपसे कहने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं सर व्हाट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से डजेंट मैच विद फैक्ट सो आई हैव कोटेड विद दी फैक्ट एंड विद सोर्सेज बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली कांग्रेस हैज गॉन इन टू दैबिट ऑफ नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग द ट्रूथ दैट्स वाई यू आर हैविंग दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम विद द पॉलिटिक्स एंड योर सो कॉल्ड भारत जोड़ो यात्रा बट यू हैव नॉट आंसर द क्वेश्चन वॉट अबाउट द सीसेशन ऑफ द सदर्न स्टेट and it is not happened for the first time chidambaram has also said that the north north is become a burden and southern state if you have been uh, other than that ho sakta hai desh ke tukde tukde karke ek zamane mein satta paayi thi 47 mein fir kahi thodi hasrat hogi kisi tukde pe kuch mil jaye magar be rest assured ab ye modi ka india hai aur modi ki guarantee hai wo zamane lad gaye jab kabhi aap is jang ki soch soch kar kuch karwa liya jaya karte the aaj hamare हमारी अवधारणा के अनुसार एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत है 